Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now, we have a long-term kind of like warning lookout thing that could actually be bad long-term. Now, this like temporary dump is basically bad short-term, but if it affects the long-term factor, then it's much worse. And the long-term factor is regulations. And there are government officials in Congress right now looking at regulations that, and they could actually be much harsher than we had hoped for. And part of this is due to, to like this whole like volatility thing right now, which is brought on by Elon Musk, China, and uh, a bunch of other factors um, at this point, including like, you know, Tether's backing not being as good as people thought it actually was. So basically, uh, U.S. regulators are growing concerned that uh, BTC is so vo uh, uh, volatile and it's lost a quarter of its value this week, more than a quarter, actually. And they might be revisiting legislation for crypto assets Following a wild week of trading, this is from Cointelegraph, that has been seeing Bitcoin prices plunge by $15,000 at one point. So like the financial regulators are like looking at the Fed, looking at what they can actually do, and they might actually use this dump as an excuse to really put in some harsh regulations for crypto. It might make it much, much harder to actually create your own asset or create your own coin. Now, I'm not really sure how effective this is going to be because like crypto is a worldwide phenomenon it's not only by the united states however the u.s is a really big player about 40 percent of all crypto investments do come from the united states so the u.s basically saying like no um we're not really allowing like x crypto could actually be really bad you might actually have to show some like proof of your actual project before you actually get approved and get listed on any u.s exchange or do a business with any kind of u.s business and that could shut down a lot of cryptos, including a lot that people have actually invested in right now. But that would actually go a long way to kill a lot of the crypto scams in the United States. If you are going to determine to use a VPN to actually buy crappy cryptos on a non-US exchange, then you're on your own. They can't really do anything about that. And I don't think they should be actually responsible for that. They're looking at an overall uh, regulatory approach um, and then creating a framework on this. And they're, they're, they're concerned with illicit activities, but they're also concerned with like the pumping and dumping. For example, um, Pancake Bunny, which is another Binance Smart Chain DeFi, just tanked 96% today after a $200 million exploit. That's not helping when regulators look like that, look at that. They're like, oh, DeFi, let's look at it. Oh, well, it's like, you know, 10 billion scams and a lot of exploits. They're going to really crack down on that one sector and that could actually kill the DeFi bubble, which would actually, you know, really shrink which could actually pop the crypto bubble and nfts you know are another thing um there's a question where collectibles are they securities and that's actually brought on by top shots because you know um there's someone suing top shots alleging that they're s selling unregistered securities and it's really top shots fault because they're actually al uh, alleging that top shots actually intentionally held people's funds back for months where they couldn't withdraw to artificially pump the value of their uh, platform, which obviously, whether they're securities or not, that act itself is illegal. So they might get like, you know, the ha these kind of actions might get the ban hammer on cryptos and NFTs, which would definitely deflate the crypto bubble. And this actually is what might actually induce an actual long-term bear market. You have to remember that the last bear market was basically induced um, because of regulatory concerns in China. Now, the China thing really hasn't changed at all. Um, it was China and India. India is definitely better than it was before, and there's a lot more people in crypto. But if the U.S. regulations get really, really hard on DeFi and NFTs, which is where a lot of the growth is, it will actually hinder um, innovation. But at the same time, it will stomp out a lot of scams. So you do have to balance the two. Now, Gary Gensler doesn't want to hinder innovation, but he definitely wants to stomp out the scams. And I think like if he, he had to choose between the two, he would definitely choose to stomp out the scams and hinder innovation some. So that's the real danger here and they're actually already talking about it they're trying to get ideas out uh congress is trying to get ideas out and this is the place where you know writing to your congressman might actually be helpful to loosen up have them loosen up on crypto obviously you know there's definitely the threat of like scams there's definitely this threat of like market manipulation maybe they'll write like something that prevents elon musk from tweeting out random shit in the future i'm not really sure but they're seeing right now that like DeFi is full of scams and, you know, NFT collectibles might be securities because there's actually a lawsuit against Top Shots right now. And that um, this volatility is basically the market being, being manipulated by one person or a couple of people. And they're definitely looking to change that. I hope they just don't put the ban hammer down and really, really screw everything up. 
but there's a good chance they actually might. So that's the real danger. It's not like, you know, Elon like tweeting and then crypto dropping $5,000. That can recover very fast. It's not like individual exploits in DeFi. Those can be written off. But all these factors coming together, it's coming together at a very, very bad time. And that could really, really shut down the crypto bull run and induce a bear market by the same thing that induced the bear market last time, which is regulations. But these regulations won't be because of no reason. It will actually, it could actually because uh, be because of legitimate reasons. I mean, I know a lot of you may not actually believe that, but it could actually be because of legitimate reasons. Because if you're seeing like, you know, uh, DeFi exploits every day, people like NFT platforms uh, holding customers' funds back on purpose with no other reason than to inflate their own value. And you're seeing like, you know, Elon Musk, uh, like, you know, basically control the market by himself, then yeah, there is actually a reason for harsh regulations and you can't really deny them that. So hopefully this works out well, right to your congressman maybe. And hopefully I'll be praying that uh, this works out in our favor. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.